This is one of the best e-bikes we have ever tested. It's the new Orbea Wild and it has been totally redesigned for this year. Now we're out here riding it at the Mystic Mountain Bike Park in Bright in Victoria's High Country. And in this video, we'll be going into some of the details behind this bike, what we like about it and what we think could be improved and how it compares to some of the competition. Join us as we review the new Orbea Wild. The Orbea Wild is designed as an e-enduro race bike. It's built around 29 inch wheels and 160 mil of travel front and rear. As with its predecessor, the new Wild is built around the Bosch Performance Line CX motor. There's a 750 watt hour battery inside the down tube, though it's no longer designed to be easily removable. This has allowed Orbea's engineers to build a vastly sleeker chassis, which is said to be stiffer and nearly a kilo lighter than the old frame. You'll find the Bosch system controller integrated into the top tube and the wireless mini remote up at the bars. There's also a wireless speed sensor that's integrated into the Bosch drive unit with a magnet that attaches to the valve on the rear wheel. Further functionality can be tapped into via the e-bike flow app. See our separate video on tuning the Bosch motor for a deeper dive into the latest smart system. Orbea has also updated the geometry on the wild. The head angle has gotten a degree and a half slacker, that's now 64 degrees. The seat tube angle is a degree and a half steeper, that's now 76. 7.5 degrees and the reach has basically jumped up a full size that now comes in at 455 millimeters on our size medium test bike the chain stays have also gotten shorter and at 448 millimeters the rear center length is on the shorter side for a 29 e-bike with 160 mil of travel and clearance for those big 2.6 inch wide tires there are six models in the Orbea Wild lineup and prices will kick off at 11 grand. Our test bike sits one step down from the top. This is the Orbea Wild M10 and the current retail price on this is $15,500. This bike gets a full carbon frame with a 750 watt hour battery inside the down tube. We've got a Fox 38 fork and a Float X shock. There's a Shimano SLX drivetrain and four piston brakes. We've got an Oquo wheel set with low profile alloy rims and DT Swiss 350 hubs and 2.6 inch wide Maxxis Minion tires with EXO Plus casings. Confirmed weight for our Orbea Wild test bike is 23.29 kilos. And as usual, that's without pedals and with the tire set up tubeless. As for what we like about the Orbea Wild, well for a start this is a great looking bike. We love the sharp lines and the tidy cockpit. Orbea very much has its finger on the pulse in terms of geometry with a steep seat angle affording a comfortable and effective climbing position. And once we dropped down the stem a few spaces we found the Wild was able to negotiate tight uphill switchbacks quite easily despite the long and slack front end. Of course the Bosch motor is a real standout offering loads of controllable power. The adaptive EMTB mode makes it immediately intuitive and combined with the 750 watt hour battery we found it was possible to get over 2,000 meters of climbing off a single charge. We like how the system controller displays battery status in 10% increments and how it automatically dims the brightness of the LEDs in low light conditions. Combined with a wireless remote and speed sensor it's a superb package. With 160 mil of travel and 29 inch wheels at both ends the Wild offers bucket loads of traction and control across rowdy terrain. There's good sensitivity from the Fox suspension and the 2.6 inch wide tires put plenty of meat on the ground in order to maximize grip. The BB sits a touch higher than the old bike and combined with the short cranks, the powerful Bosch motor and the steep seat angle, we reckon the Wild is one of the best climbing e-bikes we've ever tested. It's an absolute monster on the descents too with a long wheelbase keeping it nicely planted regardless of the gradient. The sturdy fork and powerful brakes allow you to plow with confidence and the suspension just seems to get better the harder and faster you push it. Despite its outrageous high speed stability, the Wild isn't actually a total barge. The relatively short chain stays make it surprisingly agile for a bike of this size and the supportive suspension encourages you to work and play with the terrain. Orbea says the slightly less progressive leverage ratio offers improved mid-stroke support compared to the old bike and we have no reason to doubt that claim. Paired to the Flodex shock, there's plenty of support and that allows active riders 
riders to pop up the front wheel, load the tyres into the turns and take to the air when needed. Now while the Orbea Wild does feel close to unstoppable on chunky trails at race pace, it does require some commitment in order to get it to that point. At slower speeds, it has a tendency to feel somewhat unimpressed. With this being an e-enduro race bike, Orbea has prioritised support and responsiveness for the rear suspension. The relatively high anti-squat gives it great pep, but it does mean it's not the floatiest when you're pedalling through chunky sections. On longer rides, we didn't find it to be quite as forgiving as the Specialised Levo or the Trek Rail, so for those who are after a comfortable cruiser for backcountry adventure rides, we reckon there are better options out there. It's worth noting that there are options for softening up the ride. The Wild is compatible with coil shocks and the frame will accommodate up to 170mm travel fork. Gravity hungry riders will also be happy to know that you can run up to 220mm brake rotors. On the note of options, well, some riders will be disappointed by the Wild's lack of mullet compatibility. We did have some arse buzzing moments with the big 29 inch rear wheel and we suspect that will be more of an issue for shorter riders on the small. Now compared to an equivalent specialised Levo, Trek Rail or Norco Site VLT, it's worth noting that the Orbea Wild isn't exactly bristling with value for money. That being said, it's all solid stuff. The Fox suspension is smooth and easy to tune, the Shimano brakes are powerful and the shifting has been crisp and reliable. The Oquo wheelset also rides nicely with its compliant alloy rims and its reinforced DT Swiss hubs. However, the 2.6 inch tyres and the XO Plus casings wouldn't be our first choice for an e-bike that's this capable. A slightly narrower tyre with a heavier double down or even a DH casing would be a better match, offering more precision and allowing you to descend with reckless abandon. While the Bosch drive unit continues to be our favourite full powered motor, the clacking noise is still apparent and annoying on the descents. You do get used to it, but it would be nice if it didn't make that noise to begin with. Although the battery is nicely integrated into the frame, the fact that it's not easily removable for separate charging may be a problem for some riders. We've not been overly impressed by the headset cable routing on the wild, like the OIS we recently reviewed, the cables actually pass through the split headset spaces, making stem adjustments and general maintenance more complicated than it needs to be. The rubber seals do limit water ingress in the first place, and Orbea has specced high-end enduro cartridge bearings to improve long-term durability. We also like the hidden steering limiter, which prevents the bars from over-rotating in the event of a crash, while still being totally unnoticeable while riding. And so although it isn't perfect, there's no doubt that the Orbea Wild is still one of the best e-bikes we have ever tested. Tested. Built around the exceptional Bosch system and that big 750 watt hour battery, it's got the capability of riding far and wide and preferably at full gas. It offers incredible grip and stability when charging hard on technical terrain. And while not all riders will get along with the 29 inch wheels and slack geometry, there's no denying its ability to eat up technical climbs and rowdy descents. Indeed, this is a genuinely rapid bike, both up and downhill. Shorter riders and those chasing a comfy cruiser will likely be better off looking elsewhere, but for skilled riders wanting a responsive, stable and highly capable e-bike for conquering anything in their path, the Orbea Wild is an absolute ripper. Now if you've got any questions for us about this bike, make sure you drop those into the comments below. Otherwise I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Tooroo!